Medical workers prepared to enter the site of another cluster in Melbourne, while the state's premier delivered more grim news. Uh, today's a very sad day for 25 families, and you know this is this is a long way from over. Melbourne remains the country's hotspot for the virus, where the number of deaths is rising. But health experts say the number of confirmed cases appears to be slowing in a city under strict lockdown. So we think our hospitalizations are just starting to peak now. The last you know, week almost, they've been reasonably stable. So hopefully that is a peak, but we've probably still got another week where we might see some peaks um, in our deaths associated with the earlier rise in cases. Many of Australia's COVID-19 deaths are in the country's senior care sector, an industry already considered understaffed before the pandemic began. And there are growing concerns that many of those deaths could have been prevented. On the days that the system falls short, on the days that expectations are not met, I'm deeply sorry about that. Of course I am. And I know that everyone who's involved in the process who was trying to meet those expectations is equally sorry. The Premier of New South Wales has also issued an apology. This went over how state officials handled the Ruby Princess cruise ship. When 2,700 people were allowed to disembark here in Sydney earlier this year before the testing of suspected cases aboard the ship had been completed. An inquiry found that mistakes led to hundreds of cases and nearly 30 deaths. A criminal investigation continues. I want to apologise unreservedly uh, that uh, to anybody who is continuing to suffer or has suffered unimaginable loss because of mistakes that were made. Sydney is also dealing with a number of clusters. Several schools have been closed after cases were detected. Overall, Australia has fared better than most developed nations during the pandemic. Health experts say the country's renewed battle with the virus is evidence of just how hard it is to fight. Look, you know, we teach in Epidemiology 101, you know, you would talk about the things that you do not want to have come together in a pathogen, you know, as an epidemiologist. And, and this virus pretty much has it all. It has um, a, a great propensity to spread, particularly in certain settings. It can cause terrible illness, but it can also cause infections where there is no symptom at all. The focus for now is on identifying community transmissions and making sure people follow the restrictions designed to slow the virus's spread. Ragnaparo, CGTN, Sydney.